How was it going out here? Actually, everything went very, very well. Unfortunately, the uh, march on RNC didn't get the numbers that they anticipated. So you guys don't expect any problems? Or? No, no, we don't anticipate any issues. D, you were out in some weather this morning, and uh, you know there are reports that the weather also impacted the protesters, not only those, the official delegates at the RNC. Right. I've been um, going to conventions since '96, mm -hmm. and this is definitely the smallest turnout in terms of people who have been protesting. The uh, protests that I did see and been a part of have been definitely spirited. Some of it is the weather, um, some of it is also accessibility to Tampa, and also massive security. I mean, this is a police state beyond police states. Over $50 million has been given to the city of Tampa, and they've done everything from buy brand new bicycles to new uniforms. You've seen a couple of armored new vehicles and, you know, uh, all types of surveillance cameras. Another protest tonight just down the road in Ybor City. Demonstrators marching for the right to vote. What you're looking at is a number of different groups marching through Ybor together tonight, raising one voice against what they call an attack on the rights of voters. and the FBI announced on Wednesday there's the potential for attacks by anarchists, 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 possibly using improvised explosive devices, anarchist chatter. There are individuals that are coming here with the intent to be arrested. Can you confirm how many arrests, uh, RNC related arrests? We've only had two arrests associated with the RNC. There was that memo that came out last week as far as the IEDs. I don't think any ordinary protester would want to come to a place that was where there were suspicions of bombs. Do you think that do you think that, that kind of memo? I don't think that, that had anything to do with it. A lot of people are asking what did happen to the major protests and the threats of disruption to the convention that we were warned about. The storms this week discouraged many protesters from showing up. But another reason things have been so quiet, even at the larger protests, may be the huge show of force by law enforcement. On nearly every block downtown, you'll see officers moving in groups of a dozen or more. And that's intentional. 